Oh god, no. The person hands are not this game. Thank you. They took him out. The Crimson Heads first appeared in Resident Evil 1, though. Uh, that's when they first came into Resident Evil. I don't think there's any... Matter of fact, I don't want to think about it. Resident Evil 1 was like the only time when they put in Crimson Heads. Wow. Yeah, that... Wow, that sucks! No, nigga, that don't suck. That's good. I didn't even think about that until, like, it caught on the axe. I was like, wait. There was, I was thinking, like, yo, that has to be another game where Crimson Heads are actually in the game. It's just like, no, there isn't. You know what? Let me go say this, because, yeah. Yeah. So they're only in Resident Evil 1. Oh, <laughs> wow. No wait, was wasn't it one of the outbreak things? Hold on, let me let me double check. Let me let me double check. Cause I, I, I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. There's something about that that just doesn't seem right. There's no way that Crimson Games was only in really one one part of Resident Evil. Cause that doesn't make any sense. But I already said it. Ah! Like main story wise, yeah. And they show up back in um, Brotherhood Chronicles, no one cares about that. And then uh, Slot Biohazard, no one cares about that. Dark Side Chronicles, no one cares about that. Um, Operation Raccoon City, which was obvious. They showed up in it? Yeah. You serious? Mm hmm. There was any Resident Evil uh, Operation Raccoon City. Surprisingly, because they shouldn't be, considering the fact that it takes place between Resident Evil 2 and 3. And the fact that it was like way more stronger fucking creatures than those, though. Well, Raccoon City, like, you have to deal with, uh... Everything. Yeah, everything. You have to deal with Tyrant, you have to deal with Nemesis, you have to deal with, like, literally everything. Yeah, you have to deal with three damn Tyrants. Yep. Wow. I thought Crimson Heads got like more game time. I don't know what the fuck they do. Uh, did you check that other room? Where you got the red gem from? Yeah, I checked everything. Well, you didn't check that door. I'm pretty sure it's locked, but check it anyway. Just to be able to say something. Hey, I didn't even think about that. Wow. So yeah, they only show up in Resident Evil, like the GameCube remake. And uh remastered, like HD remastered, of course, because that's like the HD version of the remakes. Dang, man. They need to bring back Crimson Games. Ah wow. Didn't even like didn't even think about that. I need to find this damn lighter. But I still don't know where the uh where the jewel's supposed to go. The Oreo jewels go where the Oreo jewels go. And that makes no sense because I don't know where it is. <laughs> it makes no sense because I don't know where it is. No sense. Uh man. I was still actually surprised about that. <laughs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> Yo, the Crimson Hills was actually kind of exciting enemies. I can't even lie. Yo, can you take over for me? Gotta go piss really, really bad. The remake is difficult enough without them. Yeah. I mean, like, I kind of, I really do like Crimson Hills, honestly. 
in this game. I think because like the door is open or something. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, both of them are working. But uh, yeah, I actually I want to see him come back. I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Was I supposed to go? I remember seeing uh one part of this game where you actually see Leon again, but I don't remember where exactly. Oh wait, don't you get the lighter from Leon? You have to come back to this room for something, but I just don't remember what. Well, to me, I don't play these type of games at all. Well, even if you don't, uh, the Crimson Heads are pretty appreciative as enemies. In my opinion, they are. Wow, you just, wow, you just finally played Silent Hill? Jesus. Jesus. I know those are diamond doors. Uh, that door is just genuinely locked. I don't know why. Third floor. Yeah, you kind of SOL, buddy. So you kind of SOL. What? I. No, Ray didn't die. Ray is. Ray had to go use the bathroom. What? What? <laughs> That's so shy, guys. Where's your way to stick and shit? No, I had to go piss. Yeah, and well, that actually surprised me, too. Like, a lot of people didn't actually play Resident Evil until the new remake. I was like... Are you serious? Yes. I was like, Nigga. what? <laughs> I was like, dude, how did you How did you have a childhood without Resident Evil or Silent How did you Hill? even play the other Resident Evils without knowing what the hell was going on? No, they didn't play any of them. They didn't play. They some people literally did not get into Resident Evil to remake. Oh, <laughs> it's just like you missed like twenty years of this. Like, where have you been? You missed like your whole entire childhood. But yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> Gg's. Oh, okay. And at the same time, like, I know some people that didn't play Resident Evil was like the GameCube remake. It's just like, what is, what was wrong with your parents? Why did they love you? Yeah, a lot of people did play Resident Evil 4, but did not, uh, did not play. Hold on, do I go over there where that red door's at? Or oh, I need a key for it? Oh no, that shit leads outside. I need a. Yeah, I do need a key. Uh, well, I think the purple doors are the one that you need a key for. I think the red doors is just, uh. Okay, I need to. It's just doors that don't genuinely like you. I know it's because I'm white. Yeah. Yeah. See, y'all thought I was gonna say it's because I'm black. Nah, I'm using clear and white. But then again, like. Resident Evil 4 is kind of like the reason why Resident Evil changed. Like, it was going to change inevitably. Like, there wasn't anything that we could do to stop that from changing. Uh, that's what I feel, because it's called Biohazard. Like, the whole story is based off of bio-organic weapons. So, I mean, like, sooner or later, it's going to be some action involved. And Resident Evil 3 was clearly a start to that. And then Resident Evil 4 was, like, even more so to that. And Resident Evil 5 was more so to it. Resident well, I feel Evil like 6 was like, yeah, we're gonna quick all the time shit out there. Resident Evil 6 was like all over the place. I wish like, I really do wish that Capcom didn't have so many hands in the pot for that game. Because that game was like, that game clearly has some good things about it. Clearly has some good things about it. But because of like everything's just being all over the place story-wise. It's kind of like, what yeah, the hell you do? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. 
Um, and then open up from that side. I forgot what the hell that leads me. Mm. I feel, but Re- Revelations, okay, the reason why I like Re- Re- Revelations. But we so are much, playing Revelation, both of them, right? Yes. Okay. And we are definitely playing both of them. Who was the main, uh, the main character for Revelations 1? Jim. Okay. Because I never played um, Revelations. Revelations. Surprises on I mean, like, you do get to play as Chris. You get to play as, like, other people. But it's all mainly Man, Jill. 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 And it's like, Jill, or you're just go choke yourself on a dick somewhere. It's like, whoa. It's too serious for me, man. Okay, I know what I'm about to do. Matter of fact, I honestly don't feel Resident Evil went bad. It's like Resident Evil 6. <laughs> like, honestly speaking, uh, Resident Evil 5 was clearly not um, clearly not a Resident Evil game. Like, it had the Resident Evil 5 to it, but it was like <sighs> not Resident Evil atmosphere. Which is like easily, easily tellable. But it didn't make me not, I mean, it didn't make me hate the game. I still love Resident Evil 5 to this day. And it's one of those games that actually lasted like that generation. It still looks amazingly good. Resident Evil 1 had me jumping like a bitch. Have you seen the guys working on Resident Evil 1.5? Uh, I've seen some of 1.5. I actually, I actually hope that Capcom goes back and revisit those games and actually make them into legitimate games. Like they don't have to be. Not yeah, it's just downhill. Yeah, Resident Evil 6 was a, was pretty pretty downhillish. <laughs> To be honest, um, but Revelations is a very good, very, very good start. Very, very good start of getting things back on track for uh, the Resident Evil series because, in my opinion, Revelations was like this perfect mixture of atmosphere, horror, and action. Like the perfect, perfect blend of it. So I'm really hoping that to happen again with Revelations 2, which I cannot look forward to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna and the moment is playable and I'm streaming it yeah Capcom would never finish 1.5 or or any of the point fives that they ever started to work on before they went over to like the actual game itself but uh I just wanted to happen because, like, okay, Resident Evil 4 before we got Resident Evil 4 4 was god like That game was going to be so legit when it came out, and then they changed it. Why? Not oh, shh. Oh, you didn't go this way. No, because I died right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, damn, I forgot what happens over there. Well, uh, you might want to go get that out of the gym first. <laughs> But I feel like if there is enough demand for things like that, I think Capcom will eventually go back to it and revisit it and finish it. Even though 1.5 turned into this, so I can't really complain. But like Resident Evil 4 before Resident Evil 4 actually what we know came out. What a lot of people it's pretty much like the evil man. Oh yeah, I won't do that. I would love that if you can, man. What? Get us a copy of 1.5. That would be godlike. You're probably getting like body, cause uh, <laughs> I never played. I know, like, they had 1.5 for, out for, like, some time, like, the people that was working on it, but I never, never knew where to actually find it or even get it. But they, I know that. Yeah, had, Resident like, Evil 3, it. Nemesis did, like, burst to a fucking wall, right? Yeah, Nemesis and Mr. X do that. <laughs> 